So I wanted to give you a few examples on how to lift parcels dryadiabatically on a skew T. Now, of course, the advantage of using a skew T is that if we were to do these types of manipulations um, just using the mathematics, it gets fairly messy. And so when we have a skew T, we simply just use the lines on the skew T. That's what they're there for. So this is a very powerful tool in uh, moving parcels up and down in the atmosphere. So let's start with this point here. Um, I chose this point on the sounding, but you don't have to. In fact, I can, I can turn off the sounding and all the calculations that we're going to do are exactly the same, um, whether that line is there or not. Um, so this parcel has a pressure of 700 millibars. Its temperature, here's the 0C isotherm, so it's a little bit to the right. So maybe let's say 3C. Um, and let's lift that parcel up to 500 millibars dry adiabatically. So one of the reasons I chose this point is actually because it sits on a dry adiabat. This, the, the lines that move up and to the left are dry adiabats. They're slightly curved but but not as curved as some maybe some of the some of the other lines. Um, on this skew T they're dark red but uh, on different skew T's they may be different colors. So to raise uh, to lift this parcel I simply just follow this dry adiabat up to 500 millibars. Let me turn that path on for you. So here we go. So this is what this parcel looks like if it were uh, forced up to 500 millibars. And the temperature is about, oh, minus 24 C. We're a little bit this side of halfway between tw minus 20 and minus 30. So that's all there is to it. Let's, um, let's look at another point. So now at this point I've chosen because it does not sit on a dry adiabat. And so what we have to do is construct our own. Um, there are many, many dry adiabats, an infinite number really, on this skew T. It's just that only certain ones are drawn, but they all exist. And so I have to construct my own dry adiabat. And let's, let's, uh, let's take this parcel up to 350 millibars. So let me turn that path on. So notice I've drawn a dry adiabat for this parcel that's parallel to the one on either side and I can I can use those as a guide and take it all the way up to 350 millibars and read off its temperature. So this is minus 40, so this is minus 50, so I'd say minus 53 or something like that. C. Now I don't just have to um, move the parcel up. I can also move the parcel down. Let's look at that one. Let's take this parcel and let's say there's mixing going on and this parcel is forced down to the surface by that mixing. What will its temperature be? Well, I need to construct a dry adiabat from here down to the surface. And that's what that looks like there. And down at the surface, if I force that parcel all the way down, it's going to have a temperature of um, about 25 C. All right, between the 20 and the 30. So we can move parcels in, in both directions and, and picking them anywhere. You can pick a parcel out here and move it up and down. Um, and so I think you'll find this is pretty straightforward. You have to practice it a little bit. So go and grab a skew T and find some parcels and move them up and down and see if it doesn't become a little bit clear. Um, it takes a it takes a little bit of a practice to construct your own parallel to the lines that are drawn. All right, I hope this helps.